quality. All right. So, uh, do you just want me to count down uh, to begin? Because I can do that right now if you got uh, want. Just type one in chat if you want me to. All right. So the run starts in five, four, three, two, one, and starts. Thank you, Capri. Alright, so this is Hurdy Gurdy. Um, it's a pretty unique game, you'll see. Ooh. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, Capri. <laughs> this game has notoriously long load screens. Um, one of the worst on the console, like top five easily. <laughs> but yeah, um,. I'm not used to streaming this game to like, you know, this many viewers, so it's gonna take a minute to get used to. Whew. Okay, so um, you play as an apprentice herder whose father gets put to sleep by an evil wizard and you have to travel across the island to the great tournament to defeat Sador, the villain. Um, this game resembles Dis uh, 90s Disney animated films, uh, 80s and 90s art style for, from Disney. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty unique. I'd say more Don Bluth than Disney though, but it's more or less Disney. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay. Ah! Okay. Gotta get my bearings. As you can tell, this art style is very Disney. Like, <laughs> almost down to a um, replica of it. You'll have to excuse my nervousness. Uh, like I said, I, I I rarely stream this game to a lot of viewers, so yeah. Okay. So this is the main mechanic of the game. It's called herding. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, pretty interesting, I guess. Whoa! Cow's <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah, this game was developed by the original Tomb Raider team, uh, and it really shows in one of the levels that looks like a Tomb Raider level. <laughs> oh, this is not a good run so far. Not at all. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm running on low sleep and I'm nervous. Not a good combo for a marathon setting, to be honest. Oh. 
Alright. So I got the Herdin Stick. It's probably the most valuable item in the game. Because it helps with the dupes. Um, and the dupes are really hard to herd correctly in this game. If you're wondering why I'm playing the Japanese version, it's 13 minutes faster than the uh, PAL and NTSC version. It's it's really, really quick in comparison. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, not a lot of people know what this game is. Uh, it's my favorite game of all time. Um, I love this game to death. Because um, there's just no other game that exists that is even remotely like this. It just makes it a unique experience. Okay, I just got the run-in shoes, which makes you run faster and jump higher. Very useful, obviously. Oh yeah, Banshee Kazooie as well. <laughs> Some characters are outright Banshee Kazooie characters, and it's really funny. Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, that is bottles indeed. Yeah, this game is just incredible. If you guys get the chance, uh, get this on PS2. It's only like 10, 5 to 10 bucks on eBay. And it's just a very unique gaming experience because there's really nothing else like it. I think it. I think it even belongs to its own genre. I call it um, 3D platform and herding, because that's really the only game in the genre that I know of. Well, it's a sub genre of 3D platform, but either way. But yeah, uh, we're about to be introduced to um, to the main predatory villain of the animals called the Grump. I kid you not, it's a pink bear. It's a giant pink bear. <laughs> oh man. Ah, I gotta, I gotta stick him, dang it. But they're pink! <laughs> Don't let their furry, uh, fuzzy exteriors fool you.
As you can tell, this gameplay is very unique. What other games do you know that plays like this? Because I can't name them. Oh yeah! Lots of hugging bear. Yeah, this, this run's not doing so good, but, uh, let's see what happens, I guess. But yeah, you have to herd animals in each level to unlock a, a, a lock on the little Pac-Man HUD. And that's what gets you, um, to different levels. What up, you battler? I'm sure at least uh, one person that's watching has played this game, because uh, surprisingly this game has quite a fallen in the UK. Uh, not in America though, uh, obviously, but <laughs> in UK it does. It's a good chance at least somebody here has played it, uh, you know. Ah, uh, there we go. I knew at least one person did in here. Yeah, this game, there's just something about this game that no other game makes me feel like when I play it. That's that's when you know you love a game, truly. It's when you play it even many years later. Uh, oh yeah, there's plenty of skips in this run. Um, I found pretty much all of them, except for like one or two of them. Because uh, some, somebody else helped me glitch hunt. Yeah, there is definitely skips in this game. An occasional glitch as well. Oh, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Yeah, we're working on it. It's called Foxtown Gate uh, Skip B. It's, it would save 13 minutes if we find it. Yeah, I'm about 10 seconds off my average here. Which isn't really bad considering I'm nervous. I can't wait to be able to play this on the PS5 whenever the emulation comes out for PS2. Because uh, the load times are obviously going to be much, much faster on PS5. <laughs> 
That's like not even a debate. So I just got the uh, flu item. The flu item's the item we're gonna use the most in this run. Uh, and it changes the level music to be flute as well. As you can see, I'm using the flute to herd these little uh, purple creatures called uh, uh, bleeps. I almost forgot their name for a second there. <laughs> Alright, we're about to herd new creatures uh, called um, Honkers with the blue. Oh yeah, the Kremlins. <laughs> yeah, this is a very, very hard speedrun. Possibly the hardest speedrun I've ever done to optimize. And believe me, this game... This game is hard to optimize. <laughs> hey, yeah, sticky keys, Kipper. This game makes Toy Story 2 look like an easy speedrun, and that's not even remotely an easy speedrun. That's what I like to compare it to in difficulty. I got the strat, nice. Ooh, that's really good. I can't believe I got it in a marathon setting as well, and I can barely do it when I'm just streaming. It's amazing. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, this is really fucking good. Uh, excuse my language, really freaking good. I might even gold this. Oh, I might actually gold it. I agree. Wow, I might actually end up goldness with the text at the end's good. I 
And I just won the magic horn. Oh, so close to a gold. Do what up, Shadow? Yeah, there's a good chance I could potentially world record this run, and um, I'll explain why. Uh, just me, at just a baggy uh, yox. But yeah, the reason I could potentially world record this run is because I can save a minute um, in one split, and like 40 seconds in another, and like 20 in another. I just have to play good, and I can um, definitely world record. <laughs> That's how unoptimized this crap is. Yet it's still really hard to PB, because you know the game's hard. Yeah, if any of you guys want to run this game, contact me on speedrun.com. Uh, you'll find uh, my username on there. And uh, just de uh, send me a message and I'll help you learn the game. Um, this game is very fun to learn. So if you're interested, just let me know. Ah. Well, I just lost like four seconds. Nice. Also, that bee is a is a is a very Disney-like character. In fact, I'd argue like if you were to stick that bee in a Disney movie, you wouldn't even know that it was from a video game. Ah, Moonlight Peaks. That level's that level's really good. Um, my second favorite level is Mountain Pass. Third is Ancient Temple. Fourth is Foxtown Gates. Uh, fifth is probably maybe um, Forest Glade. Definitely Moonlight Peaks is my favorite level. As you can tell, my quality is really good. Um, that's because I'm using a very, very good capture card. Uh, it's an internal capture card, not a USB. That's uh, and I'm capturing it over component, which is why it looks really good. Also, hello, egg.
Indeed. Oh, and it's Stinky Pete from Toy Story 2. Captain Clean, are you a fan of Hurdy Gurdy? You should speedrun it then? Yeah, but uh, Bode. It does it in such a unique way that it's a completely original. That's what's so great about it. It paints it, it paints a new picture from pre-existing stuff, as one re reviewer said. That's one of the reasons it's my favorite game of all time, because there's literally nothing like it. Ah. Wow, come on. I'm collecting bones for this old miner because the animals are harassing his bones and he's, and he's getting mad about it because he's a ghost.
Okay, so I'm gonna go get the magic feather that lets you climb ladders. I know, weird. Making good progress here. Wait till you see the huge tricks we do. Uh, we skip entire levels with some of the tricks. It's really cool. Is there like an info command? I'm not sure if there's like an info command. I'm sure if you scroll down in, in the uh, uh, Twitch panel, it'll tell you all about it. Well, the charity is mainly to support uh, victims of sexual abuse, um, to believe, to believe uh, victims of sexual abuse. Every uh, every sexual assault victim deserves to be heard. It's a good way of putting it. Wow, why do I keep losing time? I basically autopilot most of this game, um, if I can, because it helps, it helps me to autopilot this game because it's really hard. If I don't think about what I'm doing in this game, I tend to do better, so. Alright, this level's really hard. It's one of the hardest, in fact.
Also, this is my second favorite level, Lance. This level is very beautiful. If you collect 100 per level, you get a big bell, and also later on you use an item that if you collect enough bells in a level, you can unlock gates and stuff with uh, rainbow switches. Uh, the Japanese cover is better representation of what the art style is, um, that's why I prefer the Japanese cover. Japanese covers a million times better, and what what the American cover should have been. Save some time. Alright, now it's time for the best level of the game, Moonlight Peaks. There's still a good chance I can PB though. Imagine if I PB during a marathon. That would be really funny. And ironic. Do what's up in it. Thank you, Indit. That's not good. Well, frick. This is gonna work how 
I want it to. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. position. And this is played on a real Japanese PS2, by the way. Um, so it feels even more authentic that way. I could easily play it on like an American console of mods, but it just isn't the same. Here's a skip, Lance. So the skip is we jump from uh, the ladder to the cave. You're not supposed to be able to do that, and it's really hard. But I got a first try, so we get. Yeah, I've actually, uh, I've actually lost runs to that jump before. <laughs> RNG so far. Very bad, in fact. <laughs> yep, pretty much. No, I looked at the chat. What did I do? God dang it. This is PS2, way before Switch. Well, this run's pretty much dead, but oh well. Good practice. Oh, yeah. 
Even though the PS2 is still the highest sound console of all time, that goes to show it's the best console ever made, or one of them anyway. I mean, the PS2 sold 150 million copies, it, so it, it's literally the highest seller console of all time, so I don't know what to say. Not even the PS4 got, PS4 didn't even get close to what PS2 sold, and PS4 is considered to be like one of the most popular consoles of recent memory. Yeah, Endgame, I'm pretty sure, beat it now, didn't it? Or... Yeah, I forget. <laughs> I feel like the PS2 deserves it. Uh, to be the highest selling console. I'm, uh, I'm by no means like a PS2 fanboy fanboy, but I strongly believe the PS2 d still d deserves it. The PS2 was um, the best era of innovation for gaming in my opinion, like almost everything that's modern came from this era. Even modern first-person shooters uh, owe itself to the PS2. My favorite character in this game is Gertie, obviously. Uh, Wii's got some of my favorite games of all time on it, like Twilight Princess. So, well, it's also on GameCube too, but either way. Uh, oh, no, man, that's not good. I can survive. I can survive this. Maybe. And I did. Okay. No, I didn't. Wow, dude, come on. 
This runs a train wreck, <laughs> but I could still probably get like a 208, a 207. My favorite music in this game is uh, Foxtown Streets, and the intro uh, music. Um, my favorite game of all time for story is Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. That game, that game may not have good gameplay, but man, the story is just something else. Definitely my favorite story in video games. There is one review of this game that's stuck in my mind, and I think it's the best review of this game. The guy in the video explained um, that this game should be studied, uh, not in the technical sense, but studied in the originality sense, and that we can expand upon this concept later down the road. And I strongly believe that uh, is true. We can uh, improve this concept into a modern format. Alright, we got the magic gloves that can push blocks. Um, I talked to the developers of this game numerous times, and they were disappointed in this game, but I don't think that's the outlook they should have. Sure, the game didn't turn out like as good as it could have, but it gave us a concept that has never been seen uh, before and after. Um, so I think we can take a concept like this and make it into a really good game, given time and effort. Um, and it can be first party as well. Well, it usually that doesn't matter if it's indie or not, but... If somebody's not going to do it, I'm going to do it eventually. I'm going to make a game like this one day. I don't know how though, but I will. Okay. Good RNG. Ooh, I think I just messed up. Hey, 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 hey,
That movement always messes me up there. I don't know why. Um, I came up that with that strat, Lance. I call it the Minmir 2 uh, strat. Um, it prevents my runs from being killed. Because that used to be almost impossible to do. Until I figured out you can adjust the camera. It makes it easier. Probably should have put the estimate higher for Gertie, but if I play good, I'll I'll still be underestimate. So. It just comes down to like Beaver Creek and the Fox Towns and uh, Scrag. Ooh, please tell me they didn't fall off. No way, dude. I don't know how to fix that. If I even can. <sighs> um. Oh no. Oh no. Um. I'm just gonna have to restart the level. Forgive me if I go over estimate, guys. Yeah, I'm definitely going over estimate now, but oh well. Uh, I do apologize for going over estimate. So I should have put it at like 215. <laughs> Alright, type one if I'm gonna get it this time. <laughs> uh, this is a wreck. Train wreck. Watch me get, watch me get the scra uh, scrag skip first try in this bad run. Yet I can never get it in a, in a, in, a, in an on pace run.
Oh no, don't don't say it did it again. Okay, we good. Alright, we good. Also, fun fact, the Japanese version of this uh, level has eight less uh, bleeps than the US version, so it's faster for 100% as well. It has eight less animals. Alright, this run sucks. But, it's going. Yeah, so now I'm on 211 pace, which is a minute overestimate. Oh well. Shouldn't hurt, I don't think. So this is Ancient Temple. You know how I said that this game was developed by the Tomb Raider team? Uh, this level's very, very Tomb Raider-like, um, and that's for good reason, because you know the devs. You'll see. Also, the musician for this game did the Tomb Raider music as well, hence why it's actually really good, for the most part. In fact, this jingle you hear, you can hear that in a lot of Tomb Raider songs, that identical jingle. Because it's made from the same instrument. Uh, you know, the same composer. Oh 
Oh no. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this game, this level even uses a, a texture from Team Raider 1 um, because the dev just wanted to save time, I guess. Just like use, reuse the texture. Yeah, not a lot of people realize this, this is actually actually the Tomb Raider devs. Oh yeah, there's a fat Laura Croft you can find. Um, you know, this is the same developers as I've said a million times. But you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, this was actually one of the last games Eidos, Eidos worked on before disbanding, or uh, getting bought by Square Enix. Am I actually saving time here? Wow, I actually saved time, nice. <laughs> Alright Lance, you know how I said this game has uh, huge skips? You're about to see the, one of the biggest ones we found. It's called the Pirate Coast skip. Saves uh, seven or eight minutes, I think. I think this is the first big marathon other than QuickFest that I've shown this to. I don't think I've showed it to any other marathons. But yeah, I'm spreading the word about this game. Like, I, I think it deserves it at this point. Alright, so this is the skip. You jump over the wall, you land right there, and you're supposed to jump onto the bridge. But I got it. Okay. But yeah, that's how you skip the level.
Also, in case you're wondering who that guy in the portrait was, that's Gertie's father. Uh, the plot twist of this level, or that level was, that uh, you drazzle the, uh, the guy with the arms, he trained your dad there like many years ago and you have to beat his best time. It's like coming of coming of age kind of twist. Also, Yggdrasil is the name of a tree in like Nordic mythology, I think. Um, that's why you you meet Yggdrasil in a tree, because you know it's connection to the mythos, I guess. All right, time for the only boss fight in the game, which is really hilarious. So we get the swimsuit. Uh, also, that's this is my favorite load screen art in the game. It's it's magical. I love it. But yeah, there you go. You get the swimsuit. Oh yeah, we're definitely going overestimate now. <laughs> Okay, so we're in endgame now, which is the hardest part of the run for me. Um, endgame is really brutal. It's 40 minutes of really brutal strats that like one mistake costs like a minute, usually. That's why I want people to speedrun this game, because I know for a fact that there's somebody out there that would be better th at this game than me, and I can't wait to find out who that is. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, thank you. I'm gonna say thank you to that person, because it could be he or she. I 
someone got leftovers. So uh oh. Uh. Yeah, that's that's not good. I'm gonna have to do a backup strat here. Oh, that's bad. Come on, camera, work with me here. Do a backup strat. I have no choice. Even then, I might not have enough. So, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Luckily, I know the map layout pretty well, so I can do a backup if need be. Ain't that big of a deal. I'm just worried about the. Uh, uh oh. I'm just gonna restart the level. I do apologize for going over estimate at Marathon Runners, or Hosters. It's just, um, this game's very difficult and I didn't take that into consideration <laughs> when I made my estimate. Should have been like a 220 estimate. But I can assure you, uh, the next time I submit to this I won't do that. I'll make it, uh, longer. But yeah, um, beli believe it or not, I actually didn't route most of this game. A guy called Blue Light routed this game, or most of the main modern route. Guy came out of nowhere and shaved like 40 minutes off the uh, the route. Uh. Yeah, we're definitely going way over estimate, so I apologize to the runner after me. You're gonna have to wait like. Maybe an extra like 10 to 15 minutes. God, I hope so. But can we thank the? Uh, can we take a second to thank the uh, event organizers? Cause that's a lot of work. Um, I just want to thank them for hosting this marathon. Cause it is for a good cause. So. Finally got out of Crystal Lake. Wow. So far we're about four minutes. Yeah, we're about four to five minutes overestimate. So it's a, a lot less than I thought. I wonder if we can make it to a thousand dollars for total donations this marathon. I'm I'm sure we can. It's only like four hundred and thirty dollars away or something like that. 
That's a good, that's a really good milestone in my opinion. So yeah, y'all should donate. If you like this run and the runs before and after, you should consider donating. Okay, let's see if I can do the strat here. Throw that down there. Ah, no. I also rerouted this uh, level about a year ago, and it saves like four minutes. So that's probably my second biggest contribution to this game. Slight backup. Uh, I guess one of the bleeps died. Surprisingly, that worked. Okay. Did not expect that to work. This is one of my favorite levels visually. I really like how this level looks. might have enough. I think you're allowed one to die. If not, I'll have to pen a grump, um, which just takes like 40 more seconds or whatever. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's see if we have enough here. Ah, I knew it. Dang it. I 
need him to hit me real quick. Okay. Uh, this one over here I need to pin. Luckily it's an easy backup. Um, it's usually not running and ending either if you're like a minute and a half ahead. You, you usually only lose 40 seconds, so if you mess up here, it's generally not uh, lethal. Um, but most of the time it is, though. There we go. All right, the lost spare time. This level I tend to not really mess up too often. So Oh, hey, it's Grunny from Banshee Kazooie. But I think this uh, Grunty is addicted to drugs. Now tell me this this doesn't look like a Disney area. At Lance, this totally looks like a Disney like thing. The lighting and everything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and also one of the nastiest villains, um, maybe, I'd say the nastiest villains are, um, hmm, Iron Blinks here.
personally good. Alright, we did it. Okay. I rarely fail this level anymore. Um, Cause it's like, once you figure out how to do it, it's really not that hard. It's just time consuming to learn how to do it the right way. how I lost eight seconds there. <laughs> okay, so Beaver Creek's up next. Um, it's probably the hardest level overall to do uh, quick. Um, plus you have to do a quiz at the end. So it's like extra hard if you don't know the answers. Luckily I've memorized the Japanese symbols for them, so it's like easier. And then we're on to Foxtown, which is some of the best parts of the run, in my opinion. Wow, that was surprisingly fast. Normally that takes a little more effort. Why did 
I do that? Where did I do that? Type 1, I got it. Nice. That strat's harder than it looks. Uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, no. 
That one's kind of hard to get right. Okay. There we go. That is the quiz bear. There's two of them in the game, one in Ancient Temple and one in Beaver Creek. You have to answer three questions uh, based on the game mechanics, like the last year ran of stuff, like how many, uh, how many dupes can you hold in a pen? You know, it's like multiple choice. All right, we're at Foxtown now. So I'm on I'm on a 2:15 pace right now, which is five minutes over estimate. Um, but I could save like a minute in Foxtown maybe. For like 40 seconds, so we'll see what goes, how it goes. Alright, on to Foxtown. Now this level's a ton of fun, and it's probably the hardest overall to do consistently well. This level can make or break a run. Usually it breaks it, but I've had instances where I've had really good fox towns, so...
Yep, just gotta get on the roof. Oh, why did I do that? I knew that was gonna happen, damn it. I don't know why I did that. So, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a backup strat here. Catch me, like, ah, uh, this level makes no sense sometimes. Uh, like, I'm already over fucking estimating here. I am just messing up all the time. Amazing. Like I said, it's a hard speed run, so just to be expected. Oh, why am I doing that? I'm gonna go over here. Really? Come on, guard. Now you have to get caught here on purpose uh, after you pen these uh, gluters. Uh, you get caught here on purpose so it teleports you back to the start quicker. 
Or you get to the, you, you know what I'm talking Yeah, you purposely get caught there. Um, so you can get back over here quicker. Gonna be like 10 minutes overestimate at this rate. Amazing. <sighs> Where am I going? Where am I going? That's what no sleep does to you. I had to get ready for this run. <laughs> I had no choice. What to say? Where is it? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, here's another skip that I'm about to do, Lance. So the skip involves you get on this canopy. You position yourself. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. It's kind of hard to do. Get on the canopy. Ah, uh, come on, get it. Like, what are you doing? Come on. <sighs> of course, of course, I can't get it now. Cause this run has been a disaster. Oh, come on, man. I'm already behind uh, f behind my estimate. Oh, goodness gracious, man. Come on. This game just stresses me out sometimes. Like, ah. Uh. I don't know why I can't get it. I don't know why. Oh, come on. <sighs> We're gonna be literally 10 minutes overestimate here. Uh. Oh my goodness, I really, really do apologize for this. I just don't know why I can't get it. <sighs> why 
Why is it not working? Like, is there any logical reason for this? Oh, goodness, man, I can't believe this right now. I'm gonna have to do with the. I'm gonna have to do with the uh, the game the way the game's intended. If if I don't get it soon, yeah, I'm gonna have to. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do it the intended way. I'm gonna try it one more time though. I, I can't believe this is happening. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do the intended way. There's literally nothing I can do about it. So, uh, I'm probably gonna be like 15 minutes overestimate. I, I don't know if you guys would be down for that, or do you want me to like, stop it at 210? Like, what do you want me to do? I don't know if you guys want me to finish because I'm so like uh, far ahead of my estimate. I don't know what you guys want me to do, so you're gonna have to let me know, I guess. Or behind my estimate, not ahead. got that, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, it's got that medieval gothic feel to it, uh, fantasy medieval gothic. Now, I haven't done this way in a while, um, yeah, if we get to 210, just kill it, or tell me to kill it, please. I don't want to make like the other runners have to suffer for my incompetence of a speedrunner. <laughs> so just let me know if you want me to kill it and I'll kill it. Oh, I forgot to grab the other ones. Fun fact, this game predates Wind Waker, and Wind Waker uses similar visuals. Yeah, you're right, Lance. Ooh, got the lag, of course. I don't know why the game lags here sometimes, but of course it'd have to do it to me now, because it just this runs cursed to hell. Excuse my language. Um, it's just cursed. Come on, guard. Dude, this game's lagging like an N64 game right now. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, I can't wait to skip this level. I 
do appreciate you guys having me on though, even though the run didn't turn out how I wanted it to. I really appreciate you guys allowing me to run in this marathon, and I hope to... I'll submit a different game in the in the second run you guys make, or second marathon you guys make of this. I'll submit Parkbound probably, because that's a really, really fun run. I appreciate what you guys made this marathon for. It's important. It's an important issue to tackle, for sure. Uh, I do I do run a game that is longer than three hours, so I'll submit that. I run a nine-hour game that's not this. It's called Mini Rollers. I'll probably end up submitting that. Alright, type one if I can get the door skip now, because you have to do it twice in this level. Oh, I almost got it there. It's really close. I can't believe this game, man. I'm, I'm thinking about just mercy killing the run at this point. Oh, I got it! Okay, I got the skip. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. Okay, I don't have to mercy kill it now because I actually got the skip. Oh, uh. The next level has has an even bigger skip, Lance. Uh, you'll see when I get there. Foxtown has a or the docks has a really cool skip. And we're finally out of Foxtown. What a disaster! Okay, so I found the skip in this level. I call it the Foxtown Dock Skip. So basically, there's a there's a gate at the end of the level that requires you to go all the way around and collect 100 bells to unlock the gate. You can you can jump on the wall, get down there really fast, and then jump over the gate. It's it's really funny to watch because you're not supposed to be doing any of that <laughs> at all. So uh, you can land on this wall right here, you're not supposed to, um, and then you jump down here, skipping 90% of the level right there, or 95%. Should I, should I just finish the run at really longathon? The real caver skip, yeah? I remember that. I'm near the end anyway, should I just finish? All right, so this is the skip. Uh, you know, if I can actually get it. Ah, oh, if I can actually get the thing. Oh. All right. That's the skip, Lance. 
I uh, I think I'm gonna finish the run or try to. Um, we're way over we're we're way over uh, estimate, but I'm sure the runner or shadow sh uh, shadows the next runner. But I don't think he'll mind. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so this is Tournament Island, the last uh, three, the last three levels, or four levels. The tournament! Nice bonk. I've never bonked there before. I like how this uh, this level actually serves a purpose. Um, it teaches you combined space hurden, which is used in the final tournament area. I, I I never noticed that until like about a year ago. This level prepares you for uh, the tournament area. Not a lot of games tend to do that. Hurry for the final area at all. Uh, Ocarina of Time is the only game I can think of that does it. Alright, now we're going to be in the final area coming up here, the final three areas, because there's three rounds to the tournament, but it's the final stretch. And you, you get to meet the villain here in the only appearance he makes in the game, which is really funny. The villain literally only shows up at the end in this game, and he's an alligator, <laughs> alligator wizard. Yeah, um, we're going to be a little bit overestimate here like we are now, but... Alright.
So the alligator's the villain named Sadorf. He's trying to like destroy the island. You know, typical villain stuff. round two. This is the second to the final level, so we're almost done. Only got about 11 more minutes of gameplay, 11 or 12 more minutes, so if you hold tight, we'll finish. Uh, how did that even happen? I don't know. This one's cursed.
gotta be kidding me right now. Oh yeah, I need, to, I need to go get the bleeps. What am I doing? So what I like to do is I like to stick them like right here. 